Hello folks, uh, Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk today about the death and slow demise of regional dialects. Something we really don't think of at all, if you really sit down and put your mind to it. How often do we think about regional dialects? Well, we really don't. And, of course, if you go back a hundred years ago, regional dialects were extremely strong. And you would say, that man is from this area, that man's from that area, that lady's from here, that, etc., etc. The thing is that once we start mass communication, let's start with radio, starting in the early 1920s, little short of a hundred years ago, the entire game plan changes. Because suddenly, people start to talk more by what they're influenced by, and that is radio. Of course, in the 1950s, television. In starting in this new century, the internet and YouTube and things like this, you know, we don't have that many strong dialects anymore. Yes, we do have some old timers that are around with strong dialects. And yes, there are some young people who are surrounded by those folks who have those strong dialects. But each succeeding generation loses more and more of the regional dialect. I remember doing lectures in Kuala Lumpur, what basically called KL in Malaysia. Did these in 2008. And I spoke at schools, universities, whatever. And I remember a write-up of one of my talks. And they said, Mr. Stanley, has a very strong American accent. I had never thought of myself as having a strong American accent. Well, I do. I never gave it any thought. And you know, if you are from New Zealand, you have a strong New Zealand accent. We, you know, we don't think about these various attributes into uh, our dialect but if you think about it and if you look at it the influence of mass media the influence of communication the influence of the internet radio and television has had a profound effect on totally changing the way we speak Therefore, if I was to have a conversation with someone born a hundred years ago, our dialect, even if we're from the same area, would be different. It's interesting to note that there is a slow, steady step to sameness. Because, you know, like newscasters speak in what is called the flat Chicago and hear now the news. Many people have started speaking in the flat Chicago. You don't have the regional dialects like you used to have. You still have some. But you don't have it like you once did. It's a very interesting thing. And it's part of a progression. Because when you talk about social history, you always have to connect to social history, technological history, because technological history will always affect and transform social history. So just a little thought to throw at you that the age of the regional dialect is slowly but most surely coming to an end. And before long, there will be a sameness in the way that we speak. Not going to happen right away. Several more generations will go by. 
but you will see a massive difference as time goes on. And maybe you've noticed this yourself. Just something interesting to ponder and think about.